Welcome to the Maximize Business Value Podcast. This podcast is brought to you by Mastery Partners, where our mission is to equip business owners to maximize business value so they can transition their business on their terms. Our mission was born from the lessons we've learned from over 100 business transactions, which fuels our desire to share our experiences and wisdom so you can succeed. Now here's your host, CEO of Mastery Partners, Tom Bronson. Hi, this is Tom Bronson, and welcome back to Maximize Business Value, a podcast for business owners who are passionate about building long-term sustainable value in your business. This podcast is part of our series with speakers from the upcoming Business Transition Summit. The BTS, as we call it, is our event on May 2nd for business owners to learn how to maximize the value of their business and begin preparing for their ideal transition. Look, the sad fact is that every business on the planet will eventually transition, some of them by design, some by default. Uh, Wouldn't it be better if you have yours by design? And this event is all about helping you design that ideal exit. Registration is now open at businesstransitionssummit.com. That's transitions with an S, businesstransitionssummit.com. In this episode, I'd like to welcome our guest back to the podcast, Nolan Duck, CEO of DBG Advisors. Nolan will be one of our featured speakers at the Business Transition Summit on the topic of mergers and acquisitions. We'll get into the details here in just a second. Welcome to Maximize Business Value, Nolan. Well, thank you, Tom. It's always a pleasure to be with you, and I appreciate the opportunity to visit with you on this podcast. I'm really looking forward to the May 2nd event. It's going to be great, and I I want to encourage everybody to be a part of the Business Transition Summit. Awesome. Yeah. Every business owner. Look, you know, one of the things we're telling folks is there are 8,000 business owners in the DFW area in North Texas, uh-huh. uh, and there's only 350 spots and they're filling up quickly. So so by the time you hear this uh, podcast, uh, you ought to register. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about DBG Advisors. Okay. Uh, DBG Advisors is a mergers and acquisitions firm that's based in Richardson, Texas. And we work with Uh, the owners of lower middle market manufacturing distribution and service companies with revenue for anywhere from 2 million to up to 50 million. And and we adhere to the the highest standards uh, of integrity and confidentiality when selling a business. And our goal is to guide clients to maximize the value of their company when they sell. Uh, We work hard to be the, the best solution when an owner says, you know, I think I'm ready to sell my business. Um, and sometimes they do that before they're really ready, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they certainly do. Yes. So you're you're speaking on the topic, uh, understanding mergers and acquisitions for Main Street businesses at the upcoming Business Transition Summit. So tell us a little bit about your session. Okay, Tom, I've, I've written a book entitled, Are You Ready to Sell Your Business? And uh, with a subtitle that says 10 critical issues every business owner must address to get their business on the right path to a lucrative exit. Well, what I hope to do is to use the ideas and examples in this book to to lay the groundwork to help business owners start the process of getting their companies ready for their eventual sale. Now, I believe that business owners need to to follow the Boy Scout motto, be prepared. Um, So, uh, that that leads them to be ready when the time comes uh, to sell their company. If somebody comes knocking on the door to asking if you're if you'd like to sell their company, they would be ready to do that. Uh, or if they want to be prepared when they pull the trigger and decide it's time uh, for us to to sell the company and and then to to retire or to move on to something else. Uh, I love that. You know. So often business owners have somebody show up, but the business is just not ready. So that's right. One of, one of our mantras is, you know, always be prepared. I love right. the, the whole Boy Scout uh, mantra. And the other thing is that it's never too early <laughs> to start designing it. Right. And, and so, that's right. Uh, that's right. Even when you start at the company, it's yeah. not to be thinking about where you're going to end up. For every one of my businesses, uh, I always knew the exit strategy before I ever even got into the business. 
Uh, I wow. really wanted to be sure that I would understand that because I wanted to build a transferable business in every case. Uh, and so, uh, so yeah, so many business owners get in and start uh, thinking about stirring the sauce as opposed to what the ideal outcome might be. And so this event is designed to help folks do that. And your, your session will be very helpful to them. What are some things that attendees can expect to learn from your session? Well, I, I hope to answer some questions that owners should be asking. Things like, uh, what's the most important things I, I need to be doing even before my company is, is ready for sale? Uh, another question is, uh, what difference does my business entity make when it comes to selling my company? That's a big question. You need to understand that. Oh what makes my business attractive to a buyer? That's a, that's a big question. It helps you to turn, turn things around a little bit and look at things differently. Uh, what are the key things that I need to focus on now? And uh, what about after the sale? Uh, should I be thinking about what I should do once I sell my company? I think these are questions that we'll be answering. And, and I look forward to hearing from business owners that are asking specific questions about uh, their companies or are possibly, you know, they probably not going to get all that uh, specific, but just some things that are on their minds. I'd love to, to help uh, address those concerns that they've got uh, in, in the meeting. I love that. What it's a, it's apparent to me that you are passionate about this topic. Why, why are you so passionate about this? Well, um, I believe that small business owners are at a disadvantage when it comes to selling their company. Most of them have never sold the company before. And as a result, they are uh, ill-prepared and they are taken advantage of by buyers who try to convince them that um, either their company is a bad company or it's not worth what they what they'd hoped it was, or, or was what it, they'd hoped it was, or it was worthless altogether, um, or by someone who's trying to broker their deal that just um, is interested in getting a commission and is not interested in helping them um, really come to the uh, the best result. My approach is to help business owners navigate this potentially treacherous journey by leading them on a path that focuses first and foremost on their success rather than uh, the buyer or, or, or my own success for that matter. Oh, right. So I, I, I love that. What, um, even though you've already kind of given some of your credentials here, what really qualifies you to be the speaker on this topic? Well, first I've spent years in training. Um, and have multiple designations, a certified exit planning advisor, a certified value builder. I'm a board certified broker. I'm a real estate broker. I mean, I could keep, kind of keep going, wow. uh, but I've, I've, got, I've got the training that's necessary. Second, I've spent 17 years in this business of selling companies and have learned quite a bit uh, through scores of transactions, how to best position my clients, uh, for the sale of, of their of their company and and then also manage the the transaction uh, and finally and probably most importantly I, I put my clients first ahead of myself and work for their best interest so I think that qualifies me for helping people to accomplish what they want to accomplish meet their goals and uh, and work out something that's really outstanding for them as they sell their company that's awesome. Um, for sure. I've known you for some time and, and you are, uh, by far one of the greatest examples of servant leadership that I know you are there to serve others. And that's apparent in the way you deal. Well, with thank them. you, Tom. I appreciate that. And you as well. So there are 16 concurrent sessions, but you're only competing against three other sessions. There'll be four going on at the time that you're speaking. So in the interest of creating a little spirited competition here, why should business owners plan to attend yours versus the others that'll be going on at the same time? Well, the answer to that question really depends on, on where you are in your exit planning. Um, in the finance world, the, the term Main Street is used for, well, to describe smaller mid-sized companies. And if you own one of those smaller mid-sized companies and, and you are trying to figure out, okay, how should, why, how should I start moving forward? How should I get my thinking going in the right direction? Uh, how should I begin to ask questions that, that maybe I've put off asking and, and, uh, and maybe now I need to start asking? Well, I think that's, you'd come to my, my course, my, uh, uh, my presentation, because I'm going to help 
get your mind going in the direction it needs to go so that you will be prepared when it comes time to, to sell your company. I look forward to that. I'm uh, planning to give uh, a free book to every attendee that is coming to the uh, to my, yeah. my course that uh, is this little book, Are You Ready to Sell yeah. Your Company? Your business. Uh, I've got one sitting it's outside of arm reach, but I've got one sitting right over there. <laughs> See, now look at that. You're the first speaker that we've interviewed, and we've interviewed a lot of our speakers that's offering a freemium to come to yours. So that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy to do that. And I actually have two books I'm going to give everyone. The other one uh, I have a forward in, but not, I didn't write. But you're, I, I you're think not going to give them book. a copy of my book. I, I will if you give them to me. I'll be happy to give them away. <laughs> awesome. All right. So one last question before we go here. We're running out of time. This podcast, as you know, is all about maximizing business value. In addition to, of course, talking about the Business Transition Summit. What is one important thing that you recommend business owners do to build value in their business? Well, I've thought about this and I had several answers that I could give, but I, I settled in on one. Um, begin to look at your company as if you were a buyer. Mm. That is what I would encourage everyone to do. Stop focusing on what's right about your company and start trying to see the things that would be a problem to a buyer who would become the new owner of your company. Because when you do that, you begin to see things differently and that leads to some positive steps that you could take that will lead to positive results ultimately. Boy, it is so hard sometimes to do that, to step back and be objective looking at your own business. And Wow, and, it is. Uh, and, and there's lots of folks that can help uh, do that. But that's, I think that is solid advice. Look at it the way a prospective buyer might look at it. Um, that is a great piece of advice. Well, so thanks. So um, I have to ask you a bonus question, you know, with <laughs> kind of the hallmark of our of our um, a podcast every week. Um, so this week I'm asking, what advice would you give your 18 year old self? Now, I recognize that if your 18 year old self was like my 18 year old self, there's no way the 18 year old self is going to listen. But if it's true, you, if you could get his attention for a minute, what advice would you give him? <laughs> Well, and this has to do with business only. There's a lot of things I would have told my 18-year-old self to do, but just focusing on business, I would have told my 18-year-old self to get an accounting degree is what I would have done. That would have helped me significantly. Uh, I have a finance degree, but um, the accounting degree would have been a, a better solution, to, especially to what I do now. So that's, uh, that would have been my, my suggestion. Uh, you know, <laughs> how ironic my 18 year old self actually got that advice from of all things. He was uh, my piano teacher, but he was really my life coach. I didn't real, I didn't give him enough credit at the time, but he was, he meant so much more to me. He's long since passed away. Ziggy Hurwitz. I will never forget. Uh, but he told me uh, at the time, go get a degree in accounting. And I said, why would I do that? Ziggy? I mean, <laughs> First of all, I aced the um, the uh, math portion of the SAT. I I nearly flunked out of the um, uh, the the verbal and and language uh, side of it. But I aced the the math side for whatever reason. God gifted me with an understanding of math. But He said, Tom, in good economies, in bad economies somebody needs to count the money. And I said, oh, let's, uh, and, and still I didn't listen to that advice. So that is great advice to any 18 year old out there. I think now. so too. <laughs> I think so too. I wish I had had someone mention that to me because I would, I should have done it. Although, well, like I said, my 18 year old self wasn't listening to much, but himself. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. You it know, is, what I, it is. I lamented with my wife earlier today. I said, you know, why can't you get wisdom when you're like four years old? <laughs> no kidding. That you would know, be great. There's so much. Oh, well, we could do it. We could I can tell stories level. there. How can okay. our viewers and listeners get in touch with you? Well, it'd be pretty simple. You could email me at nolan at dbgadvisors.com or look me up on LinkedIn. That, that would be an easy way to do. Uh, and it's Nolan like Nolan Ryan and Duck like Donald Duck. Put those together and you have me. 
Um, and uh, just just go ahead and, and reach out to me. Either way, I'd love to visit with you. I'm never going to see you any differently now. I'm going to see uh, Donald Duck dressed up in Nolan Ryan's, uh, standing on the pitcher, pitcher's mound, uh, wearing his uniform, pitching. And jumping all him. around. Yeah, that, there that's we what go. Donald Duck does. Perfect. Nolan, <laughs> this has been great fun. Thank you for being here today. You bet. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate you, it. You can find Nolan Duck at dbgadvisors.com or on LinkedIn. And of course, you can always reach out to me and I will be happy to make a warm introduction to my good friend, Nolan Duck. This is the Maximize Business Value podcast, where we give practical advice to business owners who want to build long-term sustainable value into their business. Be sure to tune in each week and subscribe to this channel so you will never miss a, a single episode. Now, by the way, a little hint, uh, we release a podcast on, we were promoted on Tuesday now, but if you're one of our subscribers, you get the podcast on Sunday, a couple days before everybody else. Cool. So until next time, I'm Tom Bronson, reminding you to register for the Business Transition Summit today. Don't wait. BusinessTransitionSummit.com so you can maximize business value. Thank you for tuning in to the Maximize Business Value podcast with Tom Bronson. This podcast is brought to you by Mastery Partners, where our mission is to equip business owners to maximize business value so they can transition on their terms. Learn more on how to build long-term sustainable business value and get free value-building tools by visiting our website, www.masterypartners.com. That's master with a Y, masterypartners.com. Check it out. That was perfect. I wouldn't make any changes on that.